guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So as I'm sure you can tell from the title of this video, I am off to Centre Parks today and this is going to be day one of my Centre Parks vlogs. So if you didn't know, I have done a lot of Centre Parks videos before. Um, it's probably what my channel is like best known for and I usually do them like an all-in-one vlog of like the whole trip, just all-in-one vlog. Uh, <laughs> excuse Felix in the background there. But anyways, so last time I posted that, I got quite a few comments saying, oh, could you do them like daily instead? And I thought that's interesting because I did do that once before and it didn't get as many views. So I thought I would try that again this time just because I got quite a few people asking for that. So I'm going to be doing four separate vlogs because I am going for Friday to Monday this time. So today is Friday. Can't believe I'm literally going to be at Centre Park later. That is so exciting. So yeah, this is day one of the vlogs. I'm really excited to do a Friday to Monday as well because I normally do a Monday to Friday and I just feel like the week goes so quickly and it's like then the week's gone. So I feel like this will be um, nice to do a weekend. So my mum and I really wanted to go to Longleat Centre Parks this time because we haven't been for eight. But because we're going on a Friday, my mum has to work today and the earliest you can leave is 3.45. So we are going to leave at literally at 3.45. So we can leave at like 3.45. So if we went to Longleat though, problem is we live like a three, four hour drive from Longleat and we'd have got there so late, we'd have had to get there, unpack, have dinner and then probably go to bed. We wouldn't have had time to do anything and it just would have felt like a waste of that first day. So we decided that we're not gonna go to Longleat for this trip. We're gonna go to Longleat for our next trip, whenever that may be. So for that reason, we decided to go to our second closest one, which is Elvedon. Now Elvedon is about an hour and a half drive from us, but really that's not too bad at all. We should get there around five, between five and 5.30 really. Then we can get in, unpack. We can have a like half a dinner or something, like a really light dinner. And then we'll go to the pool and we can go evening swimming, which is so much fun. I love going swimming when it's all dark outside and they light it all up and it looks beautiful. I'm going to take my GoPro and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. And then we'll go back and have like the other half of our dinner or something because we don't want to get too full to swim. I always get so full. Like if I eat food, I'm like, I can't get in the pool. So I need to like be really careful. And then, yeah, we can unpack and enjoy our evening. So I feel like this way we're going to actually be able to make something of today rather than just having the whole day be travel day. And to be honest, Elfden is one of my, mine and my mum's favourites. So like, I'm really happy to be going back there. I love the tropical cyclone there. So I can't wait to go on that later. So yeah, I am just spending the day getting packed up and I am so excited. Unfortunately, the weather doesn't look great this weekend, but I mean, we're mostly going to be indoors at the pool anyway. So but yeah, hopefully it's okay and it's not too bad. So I'm doing pretty well with my packing. This is my case. It's got most things in. It just needs doing up. And I feel like I've done really well. I've not overpacked this time. So I still got a few other bits as well, like blanket and a pillow and my backpack. Um, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Got my trusty Centre Parks packing list, which most things are ticked off of. So just need to finish that. But I've got obviously a bit more time today than I would normally have because I've got to wait till my mum finishes work anyways. When you go to do your case up, but there are literally two cats in it. <laughs> do you want to come with us, Luna? Hi, Lily. Oh, now they're playing with the dangly hand holder thingy on my camera. <laughs> Clearly my bags are very comfortable. <laughs> Why do cats do this? They would just like sleep on anything random. They're so funny. You pretty Lily. Oh, now you want my camera dangly thingy. <laughs> Look at these pets, they clearly don't want me to leave. They're all on my bed. <laughs> Luna's on my windowsill. Felix, Rosie, Lily and Daisy are all on my bed and it just makes it harder to leave them because look at them, they're so cute. I'm only gonna be away for a weekend but I always miss them so much. Everything is ticked off the packing list. I just need to take this bag downstairs and my backpack downstairs. So here's all the bags ready to go in the car. We actually packed them. The majority of it is already in the car. This is just the last minute stuff and my stuff. So I'm just going to get that in. And then we are almost good to go. I'm going to have to give the cats a like very early dinner, aren't you? You're going to have to have a very early dinner. I don't think you're going to mind that though. Do you, Felix? I don't think you're going to mind that. Um, so yeah, 
We're almost ready to go, yay. We'll be able to get in before it's completely dark as well. Yeah. We are finally here. Traffic was a bit worse than we thought. So it is six o'clock, but still, it's actually still light outside. So we can still go swimming, yay. Lovely. I love how I just come over here because I'm like, I always sleep on this side when we come. <laughs> you know you come regularly when you have a side. Exactly. <laughs> so we are apartment number 83 on the top floor and I thought I'd give you a little room tour. So as you come in on the left, we've got a bathroom. So just a little toilet room. Then as you come over here to the left, we have the dressing area slash shower area. So we've got our dressing table, mirror. You've got like your little stool and we've got a hairdryer, some towels, another little sink there and some shelves. So that's sort of like this area here. And then we've got the shower area which has a heated towel rail and a walk-in shower. These are very luxurious showers and they're massive as well. I don't feel like you can see properly, but they are massive. Then there's a massive full length mirror here, which is really handy, for getting ready. And as you come over here, we've got the kitchen. This kitchen is like fully equipped. It's even got a wine cooler. It's got a fridge, I think, is this the fridge? Yep, fridge and a little freezer section at the top. It's got a bin. This is the dishwasher in here. You've got, you know, cutlery and everything you can need. Kettle, toaster, coffee machine, a uh, hob, oven. The, that doubles as a microwave as well. And if anyone's wondering what they give you, like they give you these little pack of dishwasher tablets and stuff, but you might want to bring more because it's not like a massive amount. And then as you come round, you come to the bedroom area. So this is really nice because you can choose whether you want twin beds or whether you want a double bed. So I'm staying with my mum, so we are doing twin beds. I always stay over there, so I'm on that side. <laughs> and these are really nice comfy beds. We've got a nice little wardrobe. Um, we've got a little seating area here, which is where we eat. And we usually just get this desk chair and move it over here. So we'll do that in a minute. And as you come over here, can see our gorgeous view off the balcony but it's dark so i don't know what you're gonna be able to see but how pretty is that view of the lake so nice and you get a little table on the balcony so yeah really nice little apartment it's just like a mini lodge and we've also got a dvd player there as well and the tv which does move we always pull it out and then watch it from the beds literally the only thing these places are missing is like maybe a little sofa but aside from that it's pretty perfect so this is our like smallish dinner until we get back and then we're going to put a pizza in the oven because we're really hungry but we don't want to get full for swimming
We are back from swimming and we had a great time and now we've got dinner round two. <laughs> so this looks amazing. We've got some pizza and garlic bread, which I'm so excited for. And we're just watching a program on my laptop.